What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, I wanted to answer the question of how do you install a Python package into a virtual environment in Python? Um, and I, this is probably gonna be pretty quick, but I just like, this is a common question I think comes up because sometimes you are doing pip install and it's just not going to where you want it to. The key thing to installing a package in Python into your virtual environment is making sure one, you have your virtual environment and then it's activated, right? So if I look at my terminal right here, a lot of times in the terminal, it'll tell you whether or not your, your virtual environment is activated. Now, um, on Windows, when I do programming on Windows, I usually use um, uh, the Windows environment like um, the Git Bash shell, which allows, it kind of acts like more of a Linux environment rather than like PowerShell or um, just the, the, command, the, the command prompt in Windows. Um, because I like the, the Linux terminals or those type of terminals because they show you when they're active. Like if I look at this, this right over here, you can see that it just is showing you like there's nothing extra, there's nothing new. There's, it's just kind of the same old just terminal thing of like um, the user, the name of the, the computer and where you are at, like what folder you're in on that computer, right? Or the, the very base folder that you're in. Now, to install that version, so what we need to do is we need to activate our uh, virtual environment to install a package into it, right? So um, when I say, so if I ls this folder, you'll see like this is the YouTube tutorials video that I do a lot of these YouTube tutorials. Um, you can see that I have two environments in here and that's this one, env, and the z env. And now this is the one I've been testing with some lately. Um, this is the one that I've been doing most of our other stuff in. I'm going to activate this one and I'll show you what activating them looks like so you can see the difference. But if I say source um, z env bin, now, if you're on Windows, for some reason, they made it say it's the name of the thing slash scripts slash activate rather than bin. But on Linux and uh, Mac, it's slash bin slash activate. Now, if I do this, now look, here is the original terminal or the terminal prompt. Now look what there is. There is this little like parenthesis mark there saying, hey, you're activate or you're working inside of this virtual environment, this Python virtual environment. Now, if I deactivate it or turn it off um, and I say source um, env slash bin slash activate. Activate, you'll see that, hey, look, now I'm in the, the other virtual environment, right? So if I want to say, so this virtual environment I know um, has matplotlib installed. Um, just a graphing tool. It helps you do um, create graphs or whatnot in, in Python. Let's add that to this env. So like, let's go install it. So now what I need to do is I need to make sure to add it to the z env rather than just env environment. I need to activate this one again. Now to do that, we'll deactivate our current session with our other um, virtual environment. Now I will activate um, the z env Python environment. Activate. And then right here I can say pip list, like you've probably seen in, in some other videos, is this tells me everything I have installed. Now, if I want to install a virtual or a, a Python package into this, we just now, since this is activated, right, and this, this right here is telling you that it's activated, I can just do the normal pip install um, mat plot lib, right? If you want, you could also do python dash m means using this module, just pip install, but you could also do it this way. Um, so now if I go ahead and install it, this will go and fetch everything that needs to download, grab all the extra dependencies that is that matplotlib is needing. Um, and now once this is finished installing, all I should need to do is essentially do pip list or pip freeze and show you all the packages. So look, they're just finished and now I can just say pip list and now you see all of the packages that got installed with that and so there you have it. In that virtual environment, I installed all these different packages. Now if I did um, a deactivate, that'll just take us out of that environment again and if I wanna go back in again, remembering that I need to source the environment, I can just do that pip list and they'll all still be in there and then there you go. You can take this virtual environment and continue your programming and whatever you need it for, for your current program. But that is essentially how you install a Python package into a virtual environment. Uh, if you have any questions about this or you're having trouble or seeing something or seeing it's your, for whatever reason your Python package is not there, um, leave, a, leave a comment down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, keep on programming.